Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One with Treasure Cruise video, I will be showcasing six different teams for the new Kizuna vs Luchi, two teams vs each variation, where the first team will be including the new Dr. Vegapunk legend as a friend captain for more tickets, but the second team won't be using new units at all. And don't worry, all of the teams in this video can deal with every mechanic you will ever face in this Kizuna, even after level 30. So without further ado, let's get to the teams. Yes. Team 1 versus the Strength Variation will be using the Sank Screw, who is awesome for this quest, and the Front Captain will be the new Vegapunk, of course. We are going to enter for our dual units on Sanks, Carrot from Carrot Wanda, and Sanji from Sanji Pudding. This is a full Cerebral team, so we get access to Vegapunk's Captain ability, and we get access to his super type because of the two Straw Hats present in Chopper and Sanji. In stage number 2, because of the Sank Screw, we can completely resist the Special Bind, and then we want to Super Swap Sanks to the Crew side for an Attack Boost and a full board of matching slots. Then we want to activate Carrot to provide everyone else with their Specials back and gain an Orb Boost. And then the Crew, so we can gain a Chain Lock for the remainder of the quest, even through the Intimidation, and also gain a Base Attack Boost, to super easily defeat Stussy here and proceed. The Sank Screw Chain Lock, even after a level 30, will allow us to completely ignore the attack down under a specific chain debuff in the final stage, and Dr. Vegapunk will completely resist the bind. In case despair is applied before the bind after level 30, Chopper, who is in the left column to evade the bind, can not only remove the despair, but also the bind if necessary. He also removes Poison, making all of the slots into guaranteed matching, and then we want to activate Dr. Vegapunk, selecting the attack boost and the base attack boost to obtain for our team. Then Hina will provide us with a very good ore boost, and finally Sanji will give us a very good color affinity boost. Finally, don't forget to activate the super dive ability of Dr. Vegapunk to of course increase our slot and attack boost, and then break the barrier by attacking with him first because he obtained the tandem slot and super easily defeated Luchi. Team number 2 versus the strength variation will use Beckman and Lucky Roo as captains and then 6++ or the Q version of V1 Super Sugar First Uta as friend captain. We are also going to use the same Uta as a crewmate which is very important for stage 3 and I am also using V1 Sanji as a chain boosting support on Chopper, not important, but Chopper needs to be in the left column to avoid bind in stage number 3 versus Luchi. In stage 2 though, we are going to resist the special rewind because of Uta, and we want to activate our friend Captain Special to get an attack boost and an ore boost with her unique buff, and then her super class to of course increase them in the next stage, but also increase our damage in this stage. Then we want to activate Beckman and Rue for 3 turns of Chain Boundaries that can survive through Intimidation. And then we want to activate Sabo to remove the Special Bind and increase the Chain Boundaries so they can be active in the final stage and help us bypass the Chain Debuff in the final stage. Also make certain you have Film Red Chopper in the left column here so he can evade the bind in the final stage. And in case you're wondering why we didn't activate Uta immediately in stage 1, I will explain very shortly. First though, after the preemptive, we want to activate Chopper. He will completely remove the bind even after level 30 and also the despair after level 30 alongside maximum sockets. The chain boosting support I'm using is V1 Sanji, I have it on Chopper, so it activates here. Then we use Inazuma to manipulate all of the poison slots into guaranteed matching. And now we activate Uda for the second time, and because her unique buff is active, all of our slots become tandem, so we can easily break the barrier and defeat the boss. Team 1 versus the Psy variation will be using Summer Rage as Captain and the friend Captain Vegapunk. And because this is a full Cerebral team, Reiju gets access to her super type ability and Vegapunk access to his maximum capacity captain ability. We don't get access to Vegapunk's super type, but it's not important to do so. The team can super comfortably clear without it. 
In stage 2, we are going to lose 10,000 HP for each member on the crew, meaning 60,000 in total, so make sure you can survive that. We easily can with this team. And Rage's special, because we got poisoned, will activate automatically, giving us a 3 turn attack boost. Then we want to activate Summer Vivi to make all of our slots matching, lock them, and get a 3 turn orb boost. Then we activate Colosseum Jimbe to gain a 2 turn threshold damage reduction to super easily survive the preemptive hit from Lucci. And we also activate Rage's Super Type for more damage. Her orb boost is not relevant because we have Vivis for the remainder of the quest, which also means we can avoid the low orb boost after level 30. Jimbe's threshold is active. We barely feel the hit from Lucci. All of our slots are manipulated to block, which are matching because of Vegapunk's captain ability, and after level 30, he will be able to also resist paralysis for us. We activate him first to remove special bind from everyone, and we select the base attack boosting and the chain boosting. Then we activate Queen to gain a color affinity boost and also the full board of matching tandem slots. Then we want to activate the CP0 without making them captain for the chain boundaries. And after that, we have tons of boosting to super easily defeat Lucci. Team number 2 versus the Psy variation will be using Ascent Yamato entering on Yamato and our friend captain will be V1 Super Sugofest Uta in her 6 star int form. We are also going to use the same Uta as a crewmate and this time we want to immediately activate her special when entering the quest. In the last team, Dr. Vegapunk's captain ability helped us resist the bind in stage 2, this time the same will happen with Ace and Yamato, so we don't have to worry about the bind at all. We barely survive the 60,000 damage from the poison, but we can do it if you want to add HP boosting supports or another ship, feel free to do that. And now we want to activate Uta's second special for more buffs and a full board of matching slots, and here super class so we can heal some of our HP back. And now by activating Crocus, we will get more healing, but more importantly, remove poison and gain 2 turns of 90% damage reduction, so after we defeat Kaku here super easily, we can also survive the preemptive hit from Lucci very comfortably. Entering the final stage of course, we also have Uta's maximum attack boost, or boost, and her chain boost. And after the preemptive, what we want to do first is super swap our Yamato to Ace, so we can get chain boundaries and apply ignited status to Lucci through immunity. And then we want to activate Ace's special, so we can get a conditional attack boost versus the ignited status enemy. After that, we want to activate Marco to gain a color affinity boost for our int units. And finally, we activate Super Sugofest King of Hell Zoro to make all of our slots tandem, increase their damage output, and of course, avoid the slot damage reduction Lucy has, and then attack him to clear the quest. Team 1 vs the Dex variation will be using Robin and Zimbe as captains, they are very helpful here and our friend captain will be the new Vegapunk. For our dual units, we want to enter on Robin and Nami from Nami Usap. Vegapunk, of course, gets access not only to his maximum captain ability, because this is a full cerebral team, but his super type as well. We immediately clear stage number 1, we proceed to stage number 2, and things are extremely simple here because of Robin and Jimbe. After the preemptive, we want to super swap Robin to Jimbe, and activate his special. We are going to get a full board of guaranteed matching slots if we don't already have a lot of Wayno ones because of the super swap, and because of the special, remove threshold, attack down, and gain a base attack boost. Then we attack based on color advantage, ending on Vegapunk for maximum damage to super easily proceed and face off versus the evolved Lucci in stage number 3. The very annoying debuff of Pain will be present in the final stage, which will deal 25,000 damage per action, which means with this team we have 4 actions available to us. Be careful of the intimidation, because each time it will contain different buffs Vegapunk can provide, so check that before you activate Vegapunk to choose the buffs. 
To always be safe, you can make Vegapunt provide you with a color affinity boost and a chain boost. But here I will provide an attack boost and a base attack boost. After that, we are going to activate his super type to increase our damage and also heal. Then we are going to activate Hiyori to heal even more. And of course, remove despair even after level 30. Vegapunk also removes special bind after level 30 and we don't care about the fear. And finally, pick one of your remaining cerebral units to increase your damage. If you can survive the pain hit that is, in this case I chose Nami and Usa because of the color affinity boost. If you got the color affinity boost to be safe from Vegapunk, as I said before, you can activate the CP0 for example for chain boundaries. Or maybe you can even alter the team a bit and use different cerebral units of your liking to have more strength units with color advantage over Luchi. And final thing, Nami and Usap can delay Luchi and they are able to enable Vegapunk's conditional attack boost in case it can survive through intimidation and you want to select it when activating Vegapunk. And now we beat Luchi. Team 2 vs the Dex variation will be using Super Class Crocodile as Captain and our friend Captain will be Summer Vivi. And pay close attention here, we need a lot of specific things to easily clear here. First of all, the Moby Dick ship, so we have 50% HP at the start of the quest for Crocodile to gain access to his superclass. We also want to enter the quest on Shirahoshi and swap to Mansery in stage 1. Colosseum Neptune support is important on V1 Shirahoshi Mansery, so we can remove the despair completely even after level 30. And Treasure Map Stussy needs to be maximum level limit break with the ability to remove fear on herself. So after level 30 she can still resist the special bind to remove it from everyone. In stage 2 we are going to activate Treasure Map Rare Recruit Hyogoro to remove both attack down and threshold. Swap back to Shirahoshi for the guaranteed matching slot and the color advantage. Then we want to activate Vivi's super type for the attack boost. Crocodile's super class first and then his special, so he can provide us with 3 turns of chain boundaries to help with damage here and in the final stage as well. And the chain boundaries won't be removed from the removal of beneficial effect in Lucy's preemptive in the final stage because they are not considered a beneficial effect. For a higher attack boost I think we can activate Vivi's super type last after Crocodile as well. But make certain that your Stussy can resist fear after level 30. I'm pretty sure the despair, because it is also present before level 30, will be applied before the special bind, meaning that Vivi's captain ability won't help us remove it. After the preemptive of Lucci, we want to activate Stussy to remove special bind after 30, reduce despair by 5 turns and provide our team with a color affinity boost. Then we want to activate Sirahosis special for the full board of matching slots to remove pain of course that is highly important, and then Neptune support to activate and remove the despair even after 30. After that we aim for damage, we activate Reiju for an attack boost that can survive through intimidation. Rare recruit Jimbe support by the way on here for a chain boost is not important, just helps a bit with damage. And finally Vivi's special for the orb boost that can survive through intimidation, so we can super easily defeat Lucy by attacking with color advantage. And these are my 6 different teams for Kizuna vs Luchi. Make certain to subscribe to the channel for my one team vs all variations video. And as always, thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.